Welcome to this video, detailing the history of Kirkdale Station, Bankhall Shed and surrounding land. Today the station serves trains on the Merserail Northern Lines to Ormskirk and Kirby. As well as providing interchange between these lines, the station is also popular on match days. With Everton's ground being only 16 minutes walk away, and Liverpool's Anfield ground 31 minutes. When Everton's new ground is opened, this match day traffic will be halved, as Sandal Station will be nearer. The line through Kirkdale was opened jointly by the Lancashire and Yorkshire Railway and East Lancashire Railway in 1848. Initially the station here was called Bootle Lane, but was to be renamed Kirkdale by 1876. The lines through Kirkdale serving trains out of Liverpool Exchange to Preston via Ormskirk and to Manchester via Kirby and Wigan. The railway at Kirkdale has seen a great many changes since its heyday. The whole area bounded by Stanley Road, Melrose Road, Westminster Road and March Street was once filled with lines. The Lancashire and Yorkshire lines weren't the only ones to pass through the area. Running alongside Melrose Road at a slightly lower level was the Cheshire Lines Committee freight lines through to Huskerton Goods Station. A train of mixed goods is seen passing along this line to the goods station. In the background here you can see what looks like twin tunnels. The Cheshire Lines Committee had ambitions for a four track freight line here so built bridges and tunnels with twin arches ready for this quadrupling. In this case the portal on the right is a dead end heading, the quadrupling never happening. Viewed further back from a different train we see another line passing underneath. This line was built by the London North Western Railway in 1866 and passes under Kirkdale Station. Coming out the other side is Atlantic Dock Junction, which splits the line between the now closed Canada Dock Goods Yard and the Alexandra Docks Goods Yard. This line also saw passenger services, but these ended in 1977. This line is still open and now serves the C4 Container Dock and Bulk Terminal. In this 1960s view, we see the extensive carriage sidings at Kirkdale, added to stable and serve as the coaching stock on the many trains heading to and from Liverpool Exchange. To serve these lines, a locomotive shed was built south of Kirkdale, next to Stanley Road. This shed, initially called Sandhills, was renamed Bank Hall in 1920. It was opened around 1850 by the Lancashire and Yorkshire Railway. This first shed was to be damaged by fire, but was rebuilt by 1860 as a straight through eight track shed. By 1875, the shed was joined by another eight track dead end shed. Bank Hall, along with Aintree and Walton on the hill sheds, was to provide the bulk of the motor power requirements for the passenger services and many dock lines in the area. Modernisation by the LMS in 1930 would see Bank Hall receive a mechanical coal and ash plant. The decline in steam and reduction in passenger services saw Bank Hall shed close by 1966, but a new railway purpose was to be found for the site later. To control all the movements on and off shed, the carriage sidings and the passenger trains were the signal boxes. Situated alongside Bank Hall Shed was Sandals Box No. 2. This was a railway signal company 76 lever frame box and it closed in December 1973. Heading north was Kirkdale West Box, also with a railway signal company frame of 44 levers. This box closed in May 1969. The next box northwards was Kirkdale East. Situated in a deep cutting, this 48 lever box closing in November 1977. Heading north from this box, we reach the current Kirkdale tunnels number 2 and number 1. To increase line capacity here, the line will be quadrupled between Exchange and Walton Junction. The line north of Kirkdale originally ran through just one double track tunnel. This tunnel ran as far as the road leading to the mortuary and gas works associated with the then Walton Workhouse. Mm -hmm. 
This quadrupling work was contracted out by the Lancashire and Yorkshire Railway to J.D. Knowles & Sons in 1901. This work would involve the opening out of the existing tunnel for 160 yards each end, and 111 yards in the middle. Also, building two new tunnels parallel to the original. These diagrams and pictures show the work involved. By 1977, the four tracks here had been cut back to two, using the newer and larger 1901 tunnel. The fast line tracks passed through the east side of Kirkdale station, but they never had any platform serving them. In other efforts to increase capacity, the line was to be electrified using a 630 volts DC third rail. The Southport line was the first, starting electric services in 1904. Electrics on the line to Aintree via Kirkdale were commenced in 1906, then as far as McGull in 1909, Town Green in 1911 and finally Ormskirk in 1913. One of these early electrics is seen here at Aintree. These first electrics were to be replaced by the LMS during the war in 1941 by sliding door stock. Bump damage was caused to Stanley Road Bridge during the war and was later rebuilt. Later, the LMS electrics were to be known as Class 502 units. They would survive until 1980 and be seen on trains on the newly electrified major rail service to Kirby in 1977. New units to replace the 502s came in 1978. These were the Class 507s. They were joined later by the Class 508s, and are currently the units operating at the time of this video. As part of the major extensions of the 70s, Kirkdale was chosen as a stabling point for the electrics. A brand new shed was to be erected on the site of the former Bank Hall shed. A washing plant was also added, with offices and facilities for staff built too. One interesting early proposal for the major rail lines here was to close Kirkdale station and build a new one at Breeze Hill. This station would have been built in the 111 yard section between the two Kirkdale tunnels. This plan was to be dropped. In recent years Kirkdale depot has increased in importance. The building of the 507 and 508 replacements was awarded to Stadler. Not only have they built the new treble sevens, they'll maintain them throughout their life, and as part of this commitment they have moved their UK operations to Kirkdale. One of their new trains is seen getting ready to move off the depot to perform miners accumulation runs. This diagram shows the current depot layout. Kirkdale station itself was transformed in 2000. The old dilapidated booking office and steep steps making way for a revamped station with lifts down to the platform. It remains a popular and important location, together with the expanded depot for the new trains. <laughs>